Can a revolver cylinder really blow your finger off? Well, we got a standard revolver here and three fingers, and we're going to find out. This is the Taurus Raging Hunter, which shoots three different bullets. This biggest one, I'm sure, is gonna blow off our finger, but I wanna know about these two smaller ones. Can you be a little bit more lax on your revolver if it's a smaller round? In we go with our 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum, followed by a round of 454 Casul, and finally, 45 Long Colt. And all of this is because of this gap right here, which is known as the cylinder gap. Hot gases escape, and yeah, let's see what happens. Taking a look at that slow-mo, you can see our largest round of the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum totally filleted our finger. But what about 454 Casul, which is slightly less powerful? Now, somehow this one was more powerful, but what about an even less powerful 45 Long Colt? This is something much more similar to what you guys may encounter. So take a look at the slow-mo from the 45 Long Colt. Look at the damage, and this is the damage we got from the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Pretty much just as much damage from the 454 Casul. This thing got eviscerated. And then I think if you hit yourself with this 45 Long Colt gas out of the chamber, you may be just fine. Definitely not as much damage as these two. Don't forget to subscribe for more.